They might be the perfect pet. Cheap to feed. They don't take up much room, but one bite from them is going to send you to the hospital very fast. Warning, this video contains extremely graphic footage of very deadly spiders. If you suffer arachnophobia, this video is definitely not for you. Well, hi there. Uh, maybe you know I've had a big problem with redback spiders in my house. Uh, a couple of days went by and Beanmeister22 had a chat to me and he said, Hey Leo, uh, what are you doing for redback spiders? He gave me a great idea and I think it's something that he's got at his place. It's uh, a thing that you would keep scorpions, uh, spiders, what else do you keep in, the, in this hermit crabs, isn't it? A ter terrarium? Is that what they're called? I can never say it right. But I've set a very simple one up here, and I'll see if I can show you the spiders that have survived the glass jar. That's the only male that I was able to um, grab. It's just mooching along there. They're very small, the male redbacks. Just on the glass there in front of the Millennium Falcon, that's a small female. I put the caterpillar bulldozer in there as a bit of an ode to sort of the environment I found these spiders in there. Up near the sign there, there is a medium sized female. And down on the uh, tractor area there, whatever they call it, the track, uh, that's what I'm calling a larger size female redback. They're just in the process of working out what's going on and probably setting up a few webs. Uh, they like that. If they're in a new environment, they tend to search everything out. Be curious to see if they go over and like Thomas the Tank. Oh, speak of the devil. There's a new friend Thomas, watch out. And I've got some other insects in there and the spiders are going around one by one and finding out where they are. It's moth season in Australia at the moment and there's a moth. I wouldn't advise to keep these as pets. I think the one thing I would say, uh, even though it does grain against my brain, uh, they're actually quite interesting to look at. I think the piece of footage that I'd really like to try and get is the union of a female spider there and a male one. I think the male is uh, just there, but I suspect these are fairly reclusive spiders and they do that funny business uh, well hidden away. They might be the perfect pet, cheap to feed, they don't take up much room, um, but one bite from them is going to send you to the hospital very fast. Well that female there has got a liking for Thomas, um, that's a good thing to do with some web being set up there. And when I was looking for the dirt uh, for this uh, terrarium, I hope I'm saying it right, um, and this may sound strange and be quite flukish, I actually found two spider egg sacs there. Uh, I, I, the spider took off, I couldn't quite tell what they were. Uh, but at the moment, I'd actually say, I think I was getting excited, uh, there's actually a bunch of spiderlings or something in there uh, making a web. Uh, so that's going to give uh, our redback spiders there plenty of food. If you ask me, those spiderlings seem to have a liking for the Millennium Falcon. I've also got a couple of crickets here. Okay, I'll put those in and that could be some food. Watch out, Mrs. Cricket. There's some dangerous critters in there. And in a funny way, but not funny way, the redback there is doing a classic redback thing. It's hiding under that track there. Very reclusive sort of spider. Now in a funny way, I'm getting a lesson here. Well, I know how these spiders work. They'll put webs down into the ground. Now, that cricket has just tracked through there. It's actually caught up in a bit of the web. And that spider's well aware there's a meal to be had. So Bean Master 22 has given me a, a very nice idea here, I think. It's going to allow me to see what goes on with these spiders. Uh, don't think I've just become a spider fan because you've seen this going on. Uh, I'm not. I'm going to try and get a praying mantis or something and have mantis versus spider. What I don't like about this terrarium is this lid bit here, which just slides on. I'll just show you this. I actually had to, to change it because... I'll show you, and I'll take it back off and I'll show you. I had to put tape there because there's a sort of whopping gap. It was ridiculous. You've got this fine mesh, but then there's a gap where that piece there is, and whatever's small uh, would basically sneak out very fast, and um, it sort of makes it pointless to put fine mesh there and have, like, a gap that things could so easily sneak out of. Uh, as it stands, I think the spiderlings would get through that there. I don't think the small male redback could get through that there. Uh, but as a small glass thing to put things in, I think the lid system is its weakest link. Yeah, so I've just made this and it's actually more wondrous than turning the TV on or watching YouTube videos. There is just things going on in here all the time. Uh, it may be one of the greatest things I've ever done, it might be one of the most boring things I've ever done, uh, but I think it's a very, very sensible way 
to utilize the spiders that I had from the infestation at home, uh, which just wasn't a very nice thing to have happen. Real bonus to get the, the eggs there, the spider eggs and the spidlings are all coming out. The sad part there is mother spider scurried into the compost heap, so the babies are here with the redbacks. It's sort of sad, isn't it? Very sad. And maybe the other thing I should show you, and maybe you're wondering, well, what happened to the other spiders that were in that glass jar that I showed in those redback videos? Um, I think I lost a couple of males along the way. I'm always checking in case they were just playing dead on me, but that was sort of what was left over. Remember, I opened the egg sac, so it's gone. All the little spidlings sort of, they seem to just vanish. Maybe they came back alive and escaped through the lid, but uh, I think the bulk of the things that are in there passed away. So I better wrap this video up here. Uh, maybe you got some advice for me about keeping things like this. I just hope I'm not doing something illegal here. In Australia, we've got some of the stupidest laws and things that are protected. Um, but I think it's going to be a very interesting thing to keep an eye on. Uh, I don't know how long I'm going to you know, stay interested with it. And I'm going to have to really warn my children this is not an area to play in. It's one of these things when I close the lid, I double, triple check and make sure it's totally sealed up. Thank you for being Master 22. I think it's a marvelous idea. I better say goodbye. Thanks for watching and bye for now.